guys, Mrs. Coop here. I am wearing my mask again because I'm going to show you some more of our safety things that we will be doing in class. I've talked earlier this week that we will have a spread out on the carpet. Each person will have their own special square and we will be spread out by more than one button to be a part. Um, our lining up spots have been more spread out, but even so, I will have a student on odd numbers. One, skipping two, all the way to three. So we are nice and spread out while we are in line. Our cubbies look a little bit different, and I have a little bit fewer because we gave some to the daycare so they can be spread out. Um, <laughs> I have spread out AM and PM students, as well as given them buckets so that their stuff is completely contained inside a nice spot, um, which is just theirs. Um, we also have any papers that we usually would be handing out already printed and in a folder so your kid can take out their paper, they can work on their project, and they can put it away, and they don't have to worry about passing papers back and forth unnecessarily. So we tried to think about that for our things that we'd be touching more than we have to. We've tried to put that into our schedule. Um, if I am going over here, you can see our centers. We tried to make them bigger. We also make our centers where there are less students in them. So we spaced out our material and we've also then limited the number of students who will be in each center. That's our way to kind of keep it clean. We have buckets spread out around the room. Inside the buckets, we will put things that were touched, um, maybe an eye, a mouth, or things that just need to get cleaned because of how they were played with. We will put them in our buckets. That will be our teachers will wash buckets. You'll also see we have gloves for the teachers to be wearing when we are cleaning stuff. Um, we have a bunch of spray cleaner as well as these wipes. These wipes are really great for us being able to wipe down and disinfect stuff as someone is done with a center. We will go and wipe it down as much as we can with the stuff that we saw them play with so that they're not spreading germs. This stuff um, dries instantly and um, or dries just in a little bit and then our group can go in and play. Um, so here's just another look at our room before we get going to in-person learning. Um, our art center is back here. We have our lovely and huge dramatic play with our big, huge fruit market going on. We have our block station, which is bigger than it's ever been before. We have writing, which is now just one student. We have our math and manipulative center, which we've also limited. We took two students out of that center, so it's even smaller. We have our library, our listening station, which is always just one. We have a nice quiet area. We have science as well. And everything's been made smaller. As you can see, our chairs, we only have the number of students who can be in the center. We also have them spread out as far as we can make them, okay? This is just our um, extra table to eat on right here. Um, we're just really excited. Um, we will probably have some material that we kind of cover up um, so that we can uncover it the next day or the next week. Um, we're still kind of uh, trying to look and see what's going to be the best to keep your kids safe and healthy, but we also want them to play and be kids. Thank you for trusting us with your children. Um, thank you for all the hard work you put into the remote learning. Um, keep um, teaching those good mask wearing manners. Um, we're going to keep doing that too. Um, we're going to keep washing our hands when we come to school, before we leave, and then all sorts of times in between we'll wash our hands. We have hand sanitizer as well. Um, it's going to be a really fun, different, but really fun place, and we are just so very grateful that you are allowing us to be your child's teacher. Um, my students remaining as remote learners, we, you will be missed, but we are still going to see you through that camera, so we are very excited for that. All right, guys, you're almost there. Back um, to in-person learning a little bit closer to norm. Uh, we miss you, and we love you so, so very much. Bye, guys.